Nails real short. Yes, Marge. You don't say. You don't say. You don't say. Who is that, Rob? Marge. You don't say. Mel's on his way over and he's very upset. Why? I don't know. He didn't say. Maybe he found out Viagra doesn't work on fat, bald idiots. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Chris hates the sketch. Where the hell are my writers? Good Lord! I ain't seen this many white people since the Jackson family reunion. And can somebody tell me who is responsible for this corny-ass, milk-toast, white bread excuse for a comedy sketch? Look, I want some relevant, cutting-edge comedy material. Not some sketch about a guy who can't find his croquet mallet. Well, 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 Chris, that happened to me, and we all thought it was funny. Yeah. yeah. Well, it would never happen to me, so therefore, it ain't funny. Uh, I didn't think it was very funny, Chris. Shut up, Mel. You wouldn't know funny if funny crawl up your ass and gave birth to a little funny. And you did, that's why he's so fat. Die, fat boy, die. Yeah, well, you're all gonna be dead unless you come up with something that makes me laugh. All right, I got it. How about this? I went out with a redhead last night. No hair, just a red head. Ah. Look, woman, I was on the cover of Vanity Fair. I want something to comment on society. You know, something political. I think y'all better order up some of them mayonnaise sandwiches you like so much, because you're going to be working late tonight. And if you don't come up with something funny, you're all fired. Well, don't worry, boss. We won't let you down. Well, that's it, gang. I guess we're working late tonight. Don! Means I'll have to cancel my date with Marge. His brother. Well, you better call Pickles. Tell him to get out the vibrator and start without me. It's the rhythm of the street. Can you hear that crazy beat? We're not here to slam a diss. What's the word on the street there, Chris? And then, Chris, you'll take center stage. And you'll be dressed like a hobo. Well, Ollie, I blame it all on that Saddam Insane. You think we'll bomb Hawaii? I don't know. Alaska. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Tap dancing? You m got me tap dancing? Oh, hell no. Get out. Get fired. Oh, if I hear one more m pun, my head's gonna explode. I want to see all your asses out there on the unenjoyment line. <laughs> Damn, now they got me doing it. Oh, darling, you wouldn't believe what just happened. Oh, I hope I'm not coming in the middle of something. Don't you f***ing dare. Hiya, Laura, did you get my gift? Honey, we're working. Rob, so was I. It was so exciting, I went back to my old job and they want me back. Well, you know how I feel about working women. Only when the wife's out of town. I haven't danced for so long, and Rob, I didn't know if I could do it, but I got up there, and I danced my heart out, and I made $300. Jeez Louise, I want to take those perfect breasts and suck on them all night long. I didn't say that out loud, did I? And they want me back at scores for the 10 o'clock show. You know what? This gives me an idea. I mean, we got some real Howard Stern type stuff happening here. Why don't you do that on the show? You come out, do your little bump and grind, and I'll make fun of you. Oh, Chris. Rob, is it okay? Well, if that's what he wants, honey. Does that mean we get to keep our jobs, Chris? <laughs> what for? What the hell I need y'all? This writes itself. Come on, woman. Let's go rehearse. Oh, uh, wait, Chris, I want a lap dance, too. Mel, you couldn't get laid in prison with a fistful of weekend passes. <laughs> well, Rob, sorry your wife turned out to be a stripper and we all lost our jobs. I'm not. No, buddy, don't you see? If it's strippers he wants, it's strippers we'll give him. We'll just go down to scores and pick out the hottest foxes and we'll all get our jobs back. You're right. Let's get to that 10 o'clock show. Yeah. Yeah, come on, Rob. This isn't funny. My God. Look at all that blood. Now that's funny. 